Hey folks, welcome to update 99. So we're getting very close to the end of uh, the contest. Uh, I think we're within an item or two, so be aware of that. And uh, yeah, we'll update you with what's going on or what has gone on in the last few days, in the last week. And uh, here we go. I got mail. So I was bidding on some stuff on Pirate Auctions. That's P-I-R-A-T-E Auctions on uh, YouTube. Uh, advise you to check it out. Um, uh, Mike there has some good stuff for sale. Pretty much every auction. And uh, yeah, I bought some stuff. Bought some Boy Scout stuff. So... Uh, I'm going to open up the box and show you what I got. If I can find a knife, here we go. There we go. And no, this is not sponsored by Guinness. It just happens to be the shirt I'm wearing. And here we go. Taped up pretty good. Uses as much tape as I do. There's very few people that use as much tape as I do. <laughs> And uh, he has. It's good to see. It's all sealed up. Every every uh, flop is sealed. And let's see here. And <clears throat> So, here we go. And, ta -da. Um, yep. Wrap the paper twice here. Another one. Well wrapped. <clears throat> oh, dropped a piece. That was a Wolf Cubs uh, tie slide. Yeah. Well, the Boy Scout pencil right there. And a Cub Scouts scarf uh, chain right there. Hey. So and I suspect all this is US by the looks of it. So this is mainly what I was going after were the older pins. They uh, have Be Prepared and then the Fleur de Lis right there. It's right there. And the uh, Fleur de Lis. And this uh, Den Mother Cub Scouts pin right there. For what I paid for them, I think it'll do just fine. And right there. I'm pretty sure they're not gold or anything, but uh, I can't see Cub Scouts doing gold pins unless it's an award or something. But uh, it's always possible. I'll just double check. I don't think they are. Although it's always possible. Yeah, I didn't think so. Gold washed, basically. But anyway, they'll be eBayed this uh, winter. Is where they'll go. Or some of them will, anyway. We'll price them out and uh, go from there. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Thank you, Mike. And... Uh, 
yeah, should make a few bucks on them. Should be good. So that's that one. And uh, I also got a sticker from Art Vendelay. That's the uh, uh, Daniel, I believe is his name. Dan. And uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, stickers on the way to you as well. Uh, one of my special ones um, right here. Guys, if, if you want to swap stickers, there we go. That's mine. My neon sign. And uh, I'm getting trolled by my other phone by the sounds of it. But anyway, that's the mail for today. Thanks, guys, and uh, keep watching. There'll be more to this video uh, in a little bit. So we're back from townwide garage sales in a neighboring community. There was about 16 sales. Didn't get a lot, uh, considering how many sales there was, but there was uh, a couple sales I bought a little bit from. So, anyway, I picked up a bunch of poly bags for whole box full for five bucks, which I use quite often. Uh, I've been needing uh, to package paper stuff, so I'm hoping that there's some decent uh, size bags in there. And let's see, from one estate sale, I've got a couple plates, nothing terribly fantastic, an axe, and uh, got a friend that will claim that, I'm sure. Uh, John Deere service school manual. McLeod's rubber repair kit. A tube patch kit. And uh, club tobacco tin. A little tiny oiler. Um, got a pricing gun right there to uh, put tags on fabric and that sort of thing. Some, uh, just got some uh, brackets for shelving. I know, not terribly exciting. And let's see, we've got a little green bench right there. Couple sterling napkin rings. That'll go and scrap sterling because they've got names on them. I think uh, what we've got one for Edie and one for Fred. I think that's the name on it. Let's see, what do we got? Yeah, Fred. So they had personalized napkin rings. But uh, being personalized, they're not going to be any good for anything other than scrap, unfortunately. And a little uh, peapot, little thunder mug, as my grandmother used to call them. A uh, shaving stropper. We've got a, a ruler from Ford Monarch Falcon. Right there, sales and service. Uh, from Reston, Manitoba. So let's see, we've got a nice little kids chalkboard. Coleman number 609 iron in the box. Got a uh, nice little kind of Art Deco era Holofane shade right there. Got an AC Delco oil tin right there for Delco 2 or Delco Supreme 11 mid-century modern uh, light right there some hooks for my walls and uh, got some other stuff in the boxes which I'll unbox for you in a moment so there was some hardware from a um, ice box very nice ornate hardware probably a Victorian ice box uh, doorknobs, light switch, and more in the box as well, but uh, we'll get to it. And there's a probably Red Wing Preserve jar, nice size, problem is it's got a chip. But uh, it did have the lid at least, which is good on its own, uh, though it had a couple little nicks in it. But uh, it's unmarked. 
as you can see right there unfortunately and we'll see what we've got in the box hardware out of the way let's see what do we got forgotten already uh, Granger tin Granger tobacco tin right there nice condition not a super valuable tin or anything but still nice nice shape and what else have we got just put that up here for now and we have a magic lantern was the other item The um, lightning rod ball first needs a good clean. Does have two chunks out of it, however. But uh, do have the uh, magic lantern with some slides. Missing the part, missing the door, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, there she is. Oh, can't get focused here. But. Somebody will pick it up for parts, perhaps. Um, there should be, yeah, there's, there's the light. It's in nice shape, but uh, unfortunately not totally complete. Although it did have slides, have some broken slides there, but do have some slides here for it. Let's see what do we have here. Looks like uh, oh, we got two of them there. Here, there's some cool slides. Looks like a Huck Finn sort of scene. What else do we have? Probably some nursery rhyme type right there. So we've got a nice little stack of slides right here that goes with the uh, Magic Lantern. So that's that's what we picked up. Uh, I did pick up a couple other knickknacks uh, yesterday. Just a Chateau Frontenac CPR Hotel from Quebec and a uh, Dreadnought sifter. It's uh, be a cool sifter to hang on the wall or something. But it's uh, stenciled and says Dreadnought right on it. There we go. Dreadnought. Yeah. So that's what we picked up uh, at garage sales. We got some goodies. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll be doing some more. Um, some more uh, update in the next little bit. Guess what? We have a pick tonight. Finally going out on a, a farm pick. So I'm going to be checking some sheds and the like. Uh, they did have a garage sale today, however. Uh, but it wasn't terribly well advertised. So hopefully there's some goodies left. And I'll dig deeper in the sheds and the like than other people have, hopefully. And uh, maybe find some treasure. So, I'll uh, update you on that immediately for you guys. Tomorrow it'll be uh, time to film for me. But, anyway, so stay tuned right now. So, the big pick didn't turn out to be anything fantastic. Um... Wasn't able to go through a bunch of sheds or anything. They'd hauled the stuff out and uh, had a few vintage buyers through. But I did manage to pick up this primitive uh, country primitive shelf as one of my purchases. Um, got a trailer plate right there. I did get a couple tobacco tins. The uh, Ogdens and the Force and Stream. Not sure how anybody left those behind, but they did. And uh, got a neat flashlight and battery and a lighter. And 
as well as these uh, strap hinges these big barn door hinges which are already sold and uh, the flashlight and battery that was in it was pretty cool got a little pocket flashlight kind of a cool battery made by Burgess banner battery you get the focus there and the lighter which uh, kind of a cool lighter but uh, no, nothing terribly special Invictus I think it's called needs uh, some TLC but that was it unfortunately but as you can see I got lots of stock anyway it's not like I need more stuff technically but uh, it would have been nice to get uh, some really fantastic pieces but oh well that's life and uh, that's it for this week and uh, yeah uh, oh of the 14 signs that I picked up I've got six left so if you're interested uh, better come and grab what you want uh, I'll be putting these up on uh, a US sign site and uh, I suspect I'll end up shipping s several of them and uh, yeah that's it so happy picking, safe picking, take care. Time for the contest stuff. The added right there. We've got a uh, shoe buckle, I assume, or maybe off a dress or something. Victorian, more than likely. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it there. And you can see the back, it's all individually sewn and such there she's going in the box right there kind of cool all right happy picking safe picking take care